What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to talk about Christina Carpenter in this video here again today and going over a way her reveal could still be shocking despite many people in the fandom expecting that outcome in Scream 7. Uh, so obviously her being the killer can be done, but for a lot of people, it would need to be done in a shocking way. And I think you can do that despite a lot of people expecting her to possibly be the killer. To preface this, I want to say you can swap out characters if you'd like to for certain aspects of this story. But Christina, of course, is someone that, again, many people within the fandom wouldn't find shocking if she's revealed to be Ghostface. As with anyone, you wouldn't find it shocking unless you successfully sell your audience on that person being a victim or a target, depending on how far they make it. So for Christina, I'm going to have her run the gauntlet effectively establish her as someone who can't be the killer because she'd be attacked on screen by Ghostface. Ghostface would appear during instances where it can't possibly be Christina. So you want to actively continue to just plant those seeds of doubt in the viewer's head as they are watching Scream 7. And I just keep that up the whole movie until the finale when Christina, Sam, Sydney, Gail, possibly Tara are cornered by Ghostface for the inevitable reveal. Then, as you were leading up to it, it's so undeniably fact, it, like it's so undeniably evident that Christina isn't the killer because you've set up so much prior that renders her not a possibility anymore. That's how you sell your audience on it. So here's where you would go from there in my finale. Christina would have two partners. Those are who would be revealed. Both partners that are revealed were hired by Christina to kill the survivors. Christina met these individuals in Woodsboro. They can be two newbie characters who despise stab. They despise Hollywood's exploitation of real tragedies, especially the Woodsboro Ghostface murders since it stems from their hometown. They also hate the survivors because in their twisted mind, as long as the survivors live, it seems to be destined that Ghostface will strike again and some other innocent life suffers while they keep running and hiding. In these people's minds, our survivors deserve to die because it would encourage because it would encourage Hollywood to pull the plug on the newly announced stab relaunch since they already had cold feet due to the last two sprees in Scream 5 and Scream 6. But Hollywood recently decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and actually do a stab relaunch. Christina's partners believe that a new Ghostface spree will result in Hollywood pulling the plug on that relaunch and all things Ghostface for the time being. They see it as like a step in the right direction to get Hollywood to stop exploiting real life tragedies. And of course, this spree would rid the world of the angels of death, the characters that continuously always have someone popping up to target them. So these two would undoubtedly, unfortunately, ultimately, be disposed of after their plan to kill everyone and let Christina escape fails once they once they are killed you get this false ending because their reveals will convince the viewers that Christina was innocent until she picks up a gun one of her partners had and tells Sydney Gail Sam Tara to not move a single muscle Sam can go, mom, what are you doing? Christina would then explain, did you really think it would be that easy? I can't let you guys walk out of here. Who do you think hired them to kill you? She can go over how those two hated Hollywood and thought the survivors dying would send a much needed message to Sunrise Studios to pull the plug on all things Ghostface. She can then give her motive, which is good old fashioned revenge. Christina hates Sam because she ruined her attempt to have a family with Tara's dad. And she stole Tara from her by making Tara side with her after the events of Scream 5. Christina hates Gail because Gail has profited off the demise of Billy for years, even if she's forgotten about it. Christina certainly hasn't. She hates Sydney because Sydney killed the man she has always wanted, which resulted in her having to settle for Tara's dad. Christina will explain how she and Billy were supposed to run off together after the Woodsboro murders and reveal that she knew what Billy was up to when he plotted to kill Sydney's mom and frame Cotton Weary. This would be a big bombshell because if Christina hadn't let her love for Billy blind her so much, several lives could have been saved, including Sydney's mother and Cotton Weary probably could have been in a very different predicament in his life, if not for Christina's silence. Sydney ruined those plans, but things went well with Tara's dad until Sam ruined that. And over time, between screen five to seven, Christina just simply snapped. 
Christina will also mention how her two partners that are now dead were willing to get caught and take the fall for everything. But she'll have to get her hands dirty for once in order for this all to work out. So I would like it to be poetic in a lot of ways for Christina because she didn't get her hands dirty for the events of Scream 7. You primarily would just have two active killers. The third one as an accomplice would be revealed to be Christina. She never dons the ghost face costume though. She's just revealed as someone who was in cahoots. She hired them, but she never actually did anything. She didn't intend to get her fingers dirty just as she didn't get her fingers dirty with Chris or get her fingers dirty with Marine. She didn't get her fingers dirty with what was going on in 96 in Woodsboro, but she knew all of that stuff was going on. Just like how she knew what was going on in Scream 7 because she's the one who hired these two goons. So that's how it would be poetic. Now you finally have to get your hands dirty because your plans for once again, they did not work. They didn't work in 90. They didn't work in 95 or 96 after Billy and Stu were killed and they're not working now. So you have to get your hands dirty. Ultimately, of course, she's not going to get away with it. Christina will be killed and that'll be the end of it for Scream 7. That is how I would propose you can do a Christina reveal while still keeping it shocking. You can do it in a way that props up that she undoubtedly, it's very evident it can't be her. Then you pull the rug out from under us in a big way by revealing that she knew entirely what was going on the whole time because she hired the two killers. That's what I think would work in order to effectively sell it to the viewer who is already going in expecting Christina. Christina should not get her hands dirty. That's what should happen. But then again, if you're listening to this video, you're not going to find it shocking anyway, because I probably already spoiled it for you if they take that route. But you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. Do you think that would be an effective way to get Christina as a surprising reveal. What do you think about those motives I cooked up for her two accomplices who basically have the same desire as her minus the fact that she really doesn't care about sending a message to Hollywood as much as these two goons who hate true crime and hate stab and all things that deal with exploitation do. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.